So hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get an open NAT on your Xbox One. Now like me, you've probably watched hundreds of YouTube videos on how to do this and if you've noticed one thing, they all seem to say something different, which is great. And what I'm going to do is add to the mix, because mine is going to be a little bit different too, but this one is going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to find this web page here, I'll leave a link in the description for it. Catastrophically it's had 283 views and it was first done in 2016, so not very many views. However, it's the perfect solution thanks to this person right here. It says, let me make this simple, forward port 3544 to 3074 and that's what we're going to do. Quick lesson, 3544 is used for Torito tunneling. If you read about Torito tunneling on Wikipedia, it says, Torito is a transition technology that gives full IPv version 6 connectivity for hosts that are on the IPv version 4 internet. That's me. I'm with Virgin Media in the UK and they give me an IPv version 4 address. But the Xbox network runs on IPv version 6, so we need Torito tunneling to sort them out for us. And if we look, this is even worse. This is actually the support from xbox.com. Again, the link will be in the description. It says, read very carefully, it says ports required to use Xbox Live. It says, these ports must be open for Xbox Live to work. Now, nowhere does it say forward all of these ports. It doesn't say that anywhere because that is false information. Absolutely false. If port 53 wasn't open on your network right now, you wouldn't be able to see me. Port 53 is for DNS, and it's fundamental to the entire operation of the internet. So that is already open for you on your internal network when you're going out to the internet. It's already open. So we're going to disregard what Microsoft said, and we're going to do what plain Janez says, because he knows what he's talking about. So we're going to log into our router. If you don't know how to do that and you're on a Windows PC, go to start, type in run, go to run and type in cmd and press enter. You're going to type the command ipconfig and press enter. The number you're looking for is default gateway. Ours is 192.168.64.254. Yours might be a little bit different, but it doesn't matter. All you need to do is type that number into a web browser, like so. That brings up the web ad administration page of your router. Now what you're going to do is log into it. If you've never logged into it before, the password is probably on the bottom of your router. Please change it immediately, but not now. And also type your username in properly when you're trying to do a YouTube video. Like that. So what you're looking for is port forwards, which will be in uh, network and firewall. It might look a little bit different on yours. Here we go to the tab port forwarding. This is for OpenWRT if anyone's using OpenWRT. Props to you, this is how to do it. We've already got one port forward in place for transmission. Just ignore that. That's not important for Xbox Live. So we're going to create a new port forward. We're going to call it Xbox Live and then we're going to call it Torito. The protocol is going to be UDP. As it says right here, port 3544 is UDP. Uh, the external zone is the WAN, that's the internet. The external port is the gaming port, which is 3074. Again, you can check that out here, port 3074, that's the gaming port used by Xbox. Uh, the internal zone is the LAN, we want to forward the traffic to the LAN, to our Xbox. Now, your Xbox needs a static IP address. If it doesn't have one, check it out in another video. In this case, my Xbox already has a static IP address, 192.168.64.6. The internal port is 3074, and we're going to click Add. Now, just for my sakes, I'm going to press Up, so the rule is on the top. How about that? We're going to save and apply the rule. 
like so. And there's one more thing to do because we're not finished yet. We're going to edit this rule because it's going to bring up more options. So we can see that the rule is enabled. There's the name for it. There's the protocol. There's the source. Now the source MAC address. We don't know the source MAC address. We don't know the source IP address. They're the gamers that we're playing with. We don't know their address, so we're going to leave that on any. This is the magic part. The source port is 3544. 3544 is your Torito tunnel. So traffic coming from that Torito tunnel from 3544, that's the one we want to capture. External IP address doesn't matter. That's, that's just what Virgin Media give you. We'll leave that on any. Now we want that traffic from 3544 to hit this, this port, 3074, on our external interface of our router. We want to forward that through the LAN to our Xbox One and we can leave the internal port the same, 3074, that doesn't matter. As long as it sources from 3544 and ends up on 3074. Uh, 3, so let's just save and apply that rule. There it is at the top. Now let's go and test it. So here we are downstairs with the Xbox right here and I brought my laptop so we can configure the firewall rule as you can see I've unticked the rule and press save and apply so that rule is no longer active that's for testing purposes only straight over to the Xbox we're going to bring up the settings like that we're going to go down to network and across to network settings in the middle of the screen, it says NAT type moderate. Probably a familiar site to most of you. So let's go across to test NAT type. But before we do that, let's enable the magical rule right there. Save and apply that. That's updating the firewall in the background. Straight back over to the Xbox and hit a on test NAT type, it says checking connection in the top and then hopefully, let's just move a bit closer, it looks like your NAT type is open and A to continue, NAT type is open, happy gaming everybody. So there we have it then, thumbs up if it worked for you, thanks very much for watching.